Greetings, this is DT Etheridge with Interactive Homeschooling, and today I just want to show you how I am using Interact I'm using Microsoft Word to create foldables for our unit, our interactive notebook. We use lots of interactive um, notebooking material. Lots of times you can find it on the web for free or you can find them at low cost um, at sites like Teachers Pay Teachers and, and often on different blogs. Um, but sometimes you just have to create it yourself. So I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Word to create a few foldables. Okay, the main feature that I use is going to be a table. So I'm going to go here to insert table. And of course, you're going to predetermine the number of columns and rows that you're going to need for your table. So for mine, I need three columns and I'm going to use six rows. All right, we want to use up the entire sheet because we happen to be working on the Constitution. So we want to break down the structure of the Constitution and we want the children to understand the parts of the Constitution. All right, so after we've done that, we've made the table as the size that we'd like. We're going to highlight the rows and we're going to come down to where it says to distribute rows evenly. And all I did was to right click the mouse to bring that up and it's gonna distribute these rows evenly. Now, because I want the children to visually understand the structure of the Constitution, we are, we are showing them how the articles, the sections, and the clauses fit together. So, we're working or still finishing up Article 1. So, this first column is what I'm going to use to label for Article 1. So what I'm doing is mer I want to merge these cells together. So I'm going to right click again after I highlight them and I'm going to merge those cells together. And the next thing I want to do, actually, let me undo that. I need to remove one row. So I'm going to highlight this row, right click, and then I want to delete this row. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this again. Let me just space this out. And we're going to distribute the rows evenly once more. All right, so now let's merge these cells together. I'm gonna right click there and merge those together. I want the text to run vertically on the side. So we're gonna go right click again, go to text direction, and we're gonna use this box here. Click OK. Next thing we're gonna do is change the font to the font that we want, and we're going to go ahead and place the label there for that section. All right, so we are working on article one, the legislature. All right, so article one there. Now what we need to do is put in the section. So we're working on section six and section seven. So section six has two clauses. So we're gonna use these two cells and section seven has three clauses. So we'll use these three. So I'm gonna merge these two cells together in this column and these three in the following column. I'm sorry, in the following cell. All right, same thing. I want the text to run vertically, so I'm gonna right click and change the text direction. Change the font. And we'll change the sizing for this so we can make sure we get everything in. So this is gonna be section six. So you would just type in what it is that you're working on there. You can run the font any direction you want, but for our purposes, we need the font to space this way, or we needed the text to face this direction. And this is section seven. Okay, 
take care of all the cosmetics, put place it where you'd like. All right, so the last piece here now is to add the information for the clauses. And again, I want all of these to have the same font. And so we're just going to add that information. Oh, change the sizing. So this is Article 1, Section 6, Clause 1. That deals with salary. And we are talking, of course, we're talking about the Constitution. So we're dealing with the salary of the individuals here in our government that we'll be studying. This is going to be Clause 2. That's going to deal with restrictions. So you would just add the information that you would like for your foldable. And this is Clause 1. So we're here still now in Article 1, Section 7, Clause 1. And finally, okay, now with the foldables or interactive notebooking, of course, you're going to have the children are going to make some cut marks. So you want to give them some guidance as to where to make the cuts. So this is the section here that we want to cut out because they'll be writing the information behind these tabs. So I'm going to highlight this section. I'm going to right click. And to show them where I want them to cut, I want to change the, the lines uh, in between each of the cells. So I want to put dotted lines here because this is where I want them to know to cut. I'm going to make sure this is going to apply only to the cell. Click OK. And we are done. So this is going to give us that foldable. And this is going to allow them to know where to make each cut okay so this all I've done today is just use Microsoft to you and use the table um, use different features of the table to create that foldable you can do the same thing using some of the shapes you can use the table to create a timeline um, let's see if I can do that really quick to show you you would just insert a table I'm gonna make a quick one so I want to spread this table out And of course, the timeline, you're going to need the rows to be distributed evenly. So we're going to highlight everything and distribute those rows evenly. After we've done that, we're going to bring in the sides of the table. After we've done that, we're going to highlight all of the cells once more. We're going to right click like before, and we want to change the borders. So we're going to go down here to where it says borders. Go to borders and shadings. Same thing as before you can decide where you want lines to be if you don't want them to be there if you want dashes so we don't want any lines on the side of our table and there we go so instantly you have your timeline if you want the lines to be closer together of course you can just create a table that has more rows if you want them to be farther apart then you would have less rows okay so basically that's how you can use Microsoft to create certain things that you elements that you may need for your notebooking. I hope that that was helpful for you guys. Um, again, I am working on a unit for civics that I hope to get out um, for teachers pay teachers soon. And you can still also visit us on our blog at www.interactivehomeschooling.blogspot.com. Have a good day.